Hello everyone. My name is Tsuyoshi Ozawa from the University of Tokyo. Today, I will report our early experience of utilizing persistent memory for database bulk loading. Now, persistent memory is commercially available. It features lower latency than NAND flash memory and a larger memory capacity than DRAM. To explore the usage of persistent memory, early papers have been reporting its performance properties from various aspects. In this trend, we are now studying the database bulk loading on persistent memory. Database bulk loading is a process of inserting a bunch of record contents into a database stored in secondary storage. This is usually composed of multiple steps. In this figure, the database bulk loading consists of three steps. Let's assume that the target data is stored as a text file in the file system. The first step reads a block from given text file into a sort buffer, interpret and sort records in the block, and store the block into intermediate space. This anchor sorting in the sort buffer typically uses a quick sort algorithm with DRAM. As an intermediate store, cheaper secondary store like flash memory and magnetic disks are used. The second step reads all sorted runs from intermediate space and then merges the runs. In B plus 3 case, for example, the second step is the leaf nodes. The third step arranges the data structure. In B plus 3 case, for example, the third step builds the internal node. Here, let's consider the design space of database bulk loading with persistent memory. Persistent memory can be used for sort buffers instead of DRAM as a cheaper memory device. A drawback is slower processing speed. Persistent memory can also be used for intermediate spaces instead of secondary storage like flash memory and magnetic disks as a faster secondary storage. A drawback is the higher cost per bit. In this talk, we compared all four patterns using DRAM and persistent mem memory for sort buffers and using DRAM and persistent memory for intermediate space. We used the line item table defined in the TPCH dataset. We utilized our homegrown database engine. We also used four socket machines with 16 persistent memories and 24 DRAMs. The graph shows the total execution time for different numbers of threads. We observed 2.2 times longer execution time of persistent memory than DRAM when the bulk loading was single-threaded. By contrast, when the bulk loading was more intensively multi-threaded, the performance gap became smaller reaching 1.3 times at 96 threads. Let's dive deeper. The graph shows the breakdown of execution time for different numbers of threads. In the first step, we observed up to 3.8 times longer execution time on persistent memory than DRAM when the bulk loading was single-threaded. In the second step, the execution time was comparable. This is because of the complexity of encore sorting compared to sorted RAM merging. The sorted RAM merging just accesses records sequentially in the intermediate space. Our experience showed larger performance degradation in the single-threaded bulk loading at encore sorting. We also observed comparable performance with more threads. This observation indicates that persistent memory can be used in an intensively multi-threaded environment instead of DRAM for bulk database bulk loading as a cheaper memory and as faster secondary storage. 
we think these observations would be helpful for future software design with persistent memory. Future work is to develop a static and dynamic memory allocation optimizer for heterogeneous memory configurations. We think the allocation optimizer should consider reducing the ex execution time of database bulk loading and the recovery time from process failures with persistent memory. Thank you for listening. If you have a question, please contact me with the via this email address.